Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Nicholas Lin and I'd like to show you something new that came in today. So a few months ago, I actually sold one of my Segway go-karts and you may have seen some of the videos that I made. Uh, my son Alexander likes to ride the go-karts uh, and we have a neighbor that also has one and he rides his. Well, mine was a little slow, so I upgraded mine. This just came in today, the 9Bot Go-Kart Pro. So I've been waiting for this for a long time and Segway took forever to get that to us. So here it is. This is actually the original go-kart that my son Alex uses. Uh, we have it in its um, compact form right now, just so that way it makes a little bit more room in the garage. Uh, but this uh, gets, you can make this uh, bigger, you can adjust the steering height, which is neat. We're gonna get to the unboxing. All right, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, and I'm sure a lot of you have as well. Let's see. All right, so for those who wanna see what's inside that box as I take it out, it looks just like this. And there's another box over there with the accessories. Do not lift here, lift the rear bumper. Okay, it's good to know. It's probably where the spoiler connects. And over here is another box, which it looks like it has the user manuals, batteries, Allen keys, any necessary screws that you need. I'm gonna remove this. Just protection. Taking off those cardboard protective pieces, this is what's underneath. This is what it looks like. It's all wrapped up. So far, it looks good. Let me just do this and roll it out. So everything is connected. This is the connection point here. These are the Velcro straps. Make sure that this is tight. There's one on this side as well. Uh, so far, everything looks good. It looks like these are the mounting points for the spoiler, which will mount in a moment. Yeah, this piece we can just pull off.
you know. Maybe the difference between the tires. This looks like it's a very smooth tire. I don't know. It, it almost seems like here, to compare it, this is the original one. These had nice rubberized tires and I knew these would last a while. I hope these last just based off of the uh, the surface and the, the, the material. It feels like a very hard plastic versus like if you come over here, it's like a rubberized or to the back, a rubberized material. If you can see over here, more like a regular car tire versus this. And uh, I think one of the things that they talk about on this is this can drift and that's probably why. I just hope it lasts a long time. This was a pretty robust go-kart. And while this is faster, I hope the uh, the tires last as long. If you look over here, we have the pedals. All right, and then over here at these pedals were just, they didn't have the uh, metal overlay on top. But as you can see from the top over here, this all looks the same, same as over here. All right, here we go. So I should be able to move this forward and start adjusting things. Here's the box. I just have two pieces of tape. Okay. Open this up. Let's check out what's inside. <clears throat> so there is a, it looks like a Bluetooth speaker. I guess this is to simulate the sound of the cart. This looks like, what is the uh, go-kart spoiler? Over here. Put that on the side. We'll open that up later. And uh, look at this. Now, I know a lot of people have questioned and wondered if it came with a steering stock with this, and it looks like this kit does. Uh, initially, I think um, the original Indiegogo project owner mentioned that it did not come with one. Uh, but it looks like it does, which is great. Thank you, Segway. What else? Uh, I'm not too sure what this is. Oh, you know what? This is probably the um, spoiler uh, supporting bracket. So there's one here and one here. So these go together and we'll assemble those. There is also the charging brick and the power cord that goes with that. Um, supposedly, I'll be getting a fast charger as well. And what is this one? This looks like, it sounds like metal inside. It looks like hardware. Okay, so we have the batteries that we'll need and we'll actually stick those batteries in right here. Later on, this is the lock that we'll be using for the uh, steering column. So you notice over here, I can actually adjust this angle. And if you look underneath, there are some holes right over here that you can put that uh, lock in, so that way it stays in place. So that's what that is. Uh, all right, I don't know what this is. This is a new one. Oh, I know what this is. So you'll have this accessory kit in case, right now the go-kart is mounted, so I do not need to use this. But uh, on another Segway, actually here, I have another Segway in my garage. That, there's a bracket that's used to actually remove this piece. So what you do is you would remove this little rubber piece. There, I believe, are two Allen screws here and you mount that bracket right around and just pull it out. So I don't think I'll be using this. Here are more Allen keys. Allen keys. Oh, you know what? This, I was mentioning about Allen keys and see this rubber um, gasket over here or plug. That's just like that other segue that I showed you just a moment ago. So, okay, we're, we'll assemble this now. Okay, so I have the spoiler over here. And if you notice, the, there are uh, six holes over here. There's one here, 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 and there. 
Um, so I am going to show you how to actually mount that. These are the pieces over here and they're actually labeled. This is L for left. And then there's another one that says R for right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this over here <clears throat> and then to the back of this cart, you just slide them into these guides. So I'm gonna slide this right in. Okay. And then I'm gonna get the other one. Like so. And this is where the spoiler is gonna mount right here. All right. And then this bag that you see is the one that we're gonna be using to uh, secure the spoiler. So let's do that. Well, before we mount the spoiler, just so that we can get running sooner, I'm gonna actually, this is, I'm gonna charge this battery. So I'm gonna disconnect these two. If you notice when you get it, they're connected like this. So just pull these apart, okay? And then one end is, of course, is connected. This end is connected to the actual Segway unit. This is the go-kart section. I plugged this in already. This is the power brick. So I am going to, and this should be keyed. So this should go like this. Have you noticed? It's charging now. All right, so I am going to take the spoiler now that I have things charging. Just kind of align it right on the top just to make sure all the screws will align properly. I'm gonna take this kit and we'll open this up. So there should be six screws here and an Allen key. And they have a little bit of Loctite at the end. So let's put these in. Okay, so the spoiler is secure. Um, make sure this is all the way down. So if you ever want to remove the spoiler, there are actually some tabs I think you just lift straight up, you know, on this. So anyways, that's a spoiler, and that's what it looks like. All right, here we go. We have the six screws and they're mounted now. This is what I was talking about over here. If you ever wanted to remove this for transport purposes, you can lift straight up on this. There are, see there's like a tab right over there that should hold it in place. And one over here. I don't know if I need to adjust these such that you can't lift them. I, th I thought the purpose of this was to secure them down, but it looks like I should, you know, based off of the plastic, I can just pull them straight up. That's what it looks like. You know, it looks like from behind. Pretty cool. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, install the steering stock um, lock. So it's this bag right over here. We'll just open this up. And you'll see this, it, it, it almost reminds me of like a bicycle, um, how you secure your bicycle seat. This just kind of locks uh, and this unscrews, oops, this unscrews and we get all the screws. So you have the washer and, and so forth. So I'm going to secure this now. Well, this is the underside of where the steering uh, column is. If you notice, we have one screw here or a hole here, here and here. I'm actually gonna stick it I've already adjusted this such that it's in the mid position. So I'm going to put this piece in. Okay, and that goes through. All right, and then I'm gonna take the 
washer on the other side and secure that and screw it in. Mm. Right. All right, the last part of this is we're gonna have to adjust the cart um, like distance over here. If you look, there's a marking, it says min. Um, I'll actually move this out a little bit more and you'll see it goes all the way up. There's actually a max um, label over there. Uh, there are these screws over here. There's two here and two on the other side. So what you have to do to secure it is you have to use the supplied Allen key here in order to remove it, and I had this issue with my first one, if you just lift from here, it's not going to come out, all right? So what you have to do is just kind of push down on this, relax a little bit, and then you should be able to lift this out like so. All right, it should actually be pretty easy to take out. Trust me, the first time I did this, it was difficult. So all you do is you, you push this down and tighten it right over here, all right? feel like a magnet that sucks this in, this uh, Allen key end. And so I'm gonna tighten that side and we'll do the same for the other side. And just make sure that when you push this in that it's neutral, meaning the screw is going in easily. If you ever feel that you're having to force it in, slowly back it out, adjust the cart length, and then tighten it. You don't want to strip any of these screws on the inside. All right, so I'm going to flip this in on the other side and just kind of tighten it. Just so the way there's no movement. Do one more on the other side. Okay, and when you're done, just take this tool and put it back to here in case you ever wanted to adjust this on the fly. Well, now is time to mount the speaker. So uh, it comes in this box, actually a really nice design. Uh, I'm gonna open it up so it just slides out here like this. This is just a sleeve. And uh, let's open this up right now. All right, we have the Segway logo over here. So I'm gonna remove this and I'm guessing there are some instructions on here. And this is the uh, Bluetooth speaker right over here. All right, so this is it. There it is, it has uh, looks like this metal piece over here. Uh, it has the Segway logo on this side and then um, Looks like the, there's a power buttons and, and different modes, you know, right on the top. There are actually mount points on the back side that this actually comes with a mount, so you'll, we'll actually slide that in. So let's take a look what else is inside. This is over here as I open this box a little bit more. Let's take this off. This looks like a USB charging cable. Let's see. Yeah, because there's a USB port over here that you can open up and charge. So it's a USB-C port, which is great. And then this should be the actual mount that you use to put it on the go-kart. So when I take this out, this is the mount, and we're going to secure that. So um, this is just kind of bundled together. So I'm gonna just remove this and then also remove this tab over here just to release it. And let's see, now I just need to figure out how to mount this. Okay, so I'm gonna completely remove this right over here. Uh, let's do a test fit on this. 
Okay, so let's see, Segway 9 bot. There's two sides, one that says unlock and one that says lock right over here. So I'm guessing this is going to come in like this and it's gonna lock into place. So I'll put it such that the lock or unlock symbol is on the top, right? And I'm gonna just stick this underneath the Segway. This is a close up of the straps underneath. So literally I just wrapped that cord around here and then you can adjust it. And then what they want you to do is they want you to just kind of tuck it into this little guide underneath, just so that way it's not flapping. All right, and then same for the bottom over here. So I'm gonna get this Bluetooth speaker. You notice one of these has like this kind of center guide slot over here. And that's actually gonna fit right here. I'm going to take this and mount it, and then we're gonna just push straight down. You hear that click? So hopefully that holds that nice and secure. Pretty neat. That's what the uh, original go kart did not have. It did not have one of those speakers but it fits right there. Well, the last part of this is I have my six batteries here. I am going to unlock this door right over here by having it face this way. I'm gonna lift up, and this is the battery compartment. I'm just gonna put this aside. So we're gonna stick these six batteries inside. All right, let's see. This is a little gasket over here. So just make sure that this doesn't come out. It's just preventing any moisture from getting in. I think from the factory, I should have seated this a little bit better. So anyways, I'm gonna put that in. Put that battery, and one more here. So the bottom row of batteries go in this way. All right, where the positive is on this side and the negative is on this side, all right, for this row. But for the top row, we're gonna actually flip it the other way. I'm gonna put this so that the negative side is facing down this way. All right, and then the last one. All right, once this is done, I'm gonna just take this cover and just gonna slide this back. And again, just make sure that that gasket is sealed all the way. All right, so the bottom goes in first. You push this down and then uh, turn it to lock it and now you have your batteries in place. Well I've disconnected the battery charger and just remember to put these together they are keyed to go on in only one way. Um, this is the power button so I'm going to click on that and that powers this on. So, but one of the things you have to do first is register it with Segway. So I'm gonna go into the app and do that. Well, it looks like we're all registered with Segway and this is Alex, you wanna wave? He helped me film the video. So anyways, he's on his go-kart. If you notice, the lights are different over here. And then this also has the front spoiler on the front. It's like this like rubberized piece. It's very soft over here. See, it flexes. I don't know if this should be all the way up or not, but right now it's bent down. I don't know if it was from transport, if it actually caused that to bow down, but this is the way it is. It's very soft. It looks like it's replaceable. And we're ready, let's go. All right, he's been waiting for me. So he's really excited to go. All right, let's see, I gotta get myself strapped in. Okay, so this is the maiden ride of the Go-Kart Pro. Ready to race? Ooh. Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay. Ready, set, go. All right, let's see. Okay, so I'm not going very fast. I think I have to set the mode to be faster. I think I'm on the new driver mode. 
okay. All right, let's test this. We got a little bit of snow. Whoa. Okay, that is quick. That is quick. Doesn't help, of course, help the sand on the road. All right, why don't you go forward, Alex? And we're gonna go. All right, ready? So, Alex, Alex, let's do a race. Normally, you beat me up this. We do what? <laughs> Did Daddy just beat you? Burnout. You were doing a burnout? I wasn't because this, I didn't know Sam was under. Yeah. Oh no. Let's go down the hill that I always lose on. Let's go down that hill. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Good. Maria, let's go down that hill. Okay, all right, let's go down. All right, we're gonna turn around. That hurt. Oh, what happened? Your mate oh, did it? Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Next time. Oh, All right, ready? Three, two, we will do that one, one, go. Okay, this is definitely a faster go-kart. Uh, typically that up that hill, I would not be able to catch up with him. I would lose him, or I should say he would lose me. Ready? Nice job with this one, go, uh, Segway. I find I have to break ahead of time because I'll slide on the sand. Here we go. Nice one. Well, we're off the carts now. It's a little bit chilly outside, but it does look pretty sporty. It does look pretty cool. Especially when you compare the original one. This is like the touring edition. And this is like the race edition. So much faster. than the original. Well, this is the Bluetooth speaker and it has different sound modes. So when you accelerate, Sounds like an EV. All right, next mode up. Let's see.
Okay, so this is, let's turn the volume down just a little bit, it's a little loud. Um, you have a few buttons over here. This is your um, power button. This is to increase or decrease the volume. Uh, this is in case you're using, pairing this with a Bluetooth like your uh, cell phone. It's to play. And then this is the actual pairing and mode button over there. Uh, this is the USB-C charger. So if you want to change the sound once you've paired it up, you click on this guy. Oh, did the wrong thing. I actually meant this guy over here, the play button. Okay. So if you want to change the sound, all you have to do is just click on this play button. And that'll change the mode. So you click it again. Click it again. This is the EV sound. Oops. Um, to actually pair the speaker, you're going to want to disconnect from the Segway app. It took me a little while to figure that out, but you need to disconnect from the Segway app, close it out completely, uh, such that this guy is in a sense blinking, all right? And uh, after that, what you want to do is you want to hold this button down, this guy, for two seconds. It'll actually put it into pairing mode. Um, and then later on, you're going to want to basically push on the brake for two seconds and then it'll actually pair up with the speaker. Here we go. All right. Can't even keep up with them. <laughs> 